God for bringing us to this month, the second day in the month of April. And I don't know if you have reason to bless God this month for life. I don't know what is that thing that money cannot buy that you have received of the Lord. I don't know what is it that is worth thanking God for. You know, I have a scripture and that is Habakkuk 3, 17 that says even if the fig tree refuse to blossom, even if you want to say from the beginning of the year, God has never answered your prayer. Even if you want to say, <laughs> if only you know my case, you wouldn't tell me to thank God. But I want to encourage us this morning that no matter what is your circumstance, a living dog is better than a dead lion. And because you are alive, God has not finished with you. I want you to take this this morning and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Because he, he is keeping you here, that means the best of you is yet to go. To do in such a way that the purpose of God for your life that you need to accomplish can still be accomplished. I want us to open our mouth and give a praise from the depth of our mouth, from our heart, and say, God, we thank you. Lord, I thank you. Because people that are better than me, they are God. Amen. 
I believe we are praying and we should be praying. And let's just please reference that we are in the house of God. If you want to have a discussion, you can go out. Please, let's focus. This is, <laughs> the, the, the scripture encourages us that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And God will help us even as we do that in Jesus' name. Yeah. I'm reading from Ezekiel 1, chapter 1, verse 1. And it says, on July 31st of my 13th year, while I was with the Judean exile, beside the Kiba River in Babylon, the heavens were open, and I saw visions of God. I want us to pray that this month, let your heavens be open upon me. Let your heaven be open upon your church. Give me new revelation in this new month. Because when God gives us new revelation to make life, you know, worth living, purpose will be discovered. I want us to pray. Please help me to see vision. Even as you open your heaven upon me this month, in the name of Jesus, let heaven be open even upon me that this month I will not operate under close heaven. In the name of Jesus, this month heaven will be open. Your heaven will be open upon me. In the name of Jesus, I will not operate under close heaven. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes up. Give me new revelation, O oh Lord. Let your hand be upon me this month. Even as I join it this month, O oh Lord, you will cause your hand able to be upon me. In the name of Jesus, this month, O oh Lord, this month, Daddy, I cry in the name of Jesus. Let heaven be open upon me. Give me a new idea. Give me a new revelation. Order my step aright, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, that I will not be at the wrong place at the right wrong time. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You know when God gives us vision, when God opens our eyes, it, it will be like you have an exam and you have been given answer to your exam. We will not struggle Amen. if God gives us revelation. And I want us to pray that prayer again. This month, I will not struggle in the name of Jesus. Because you will open the heaven upon me. Because you will grant unto me new revelation. Because you will grant unto me new idea, O oh Lord. You will bring strong belief on you. Grant unto me. Clarity will be my portion. This month, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, you will grant unto me clarity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to open to Deuteronomy 31 8. And he says, do not be afraid of this story, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never fail you, nor abandon you. I know I've prayed that prayer again earlier, but I want us to pray it meaningfully. Please, abide with me this month. Journey with me this month. I don't want to walk alone. I cannot go far walking alone. Please, Lord, go with me. And this month, give me the grace not to be afraid. Give me grace not to be discouraged. In every challenge that will come my way, Jehovah, you will help me. In the name of Jesus. Do not in Jesus' name, we are praying. I don't know what is your expectation today, but the scripture made us to understand that the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. 
A lot of people are here to have an encounter. A lot of people are here to receive a touch. But I want us to pray. Just like I believe we've sung down today, that I will not leave this place the same way. Bring a change. In area, I need a change. Do I need a psychological change? Do I need an heart transplant? Jehovah today. Don't let me go the same way I came. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Jehovah will commit the remaining aspect of today's service into your hand. That, Daddy, you will have your rightful place. Amen. Even in this place this morning, Amen. you will be at the center. Amen. Only your will you will allow to happen. Amen. And let your kingdom come. Amen. Every spirit of mine and standing will rebuke you. Amen. And we declare there is no place for you in this place. Amen. Father, we bless your name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praise of the Lord. Um, our hymn this morning is Immortal, Invisible, God, Holy Wise. Amen. Amen.
you up to two, three, four people, tell them everything is turning around for my good. This week, everything is turning around for my good.
Why don't you say something nice to him? Why don't you say something nice to him? 